Hey, howdy y'all. What's up? How's it going? Welcome back to me. Today, I'm checking out a request from Andrew, aka K-Balls. This is Fathomage. Fathom... Fathomage? 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 Is it like Fathomage? Like, having to do with the word fathom? I don't know. Fathomage, Autumn's Dawn, Winter's Darkness. Can we appreciate... I'm gonna just gonna go over here real quick. Can we appreciate this album art can we just look at this and just appreciate this i'm just gonna can we just <laughs> can we look at that and just appreciate how beautiful this is this gives me such heavy now i have to put it back this gives me such heavy rivendell vibes uh not even specifically from the movies but more so from lord of the rings online which is a game that it's it's an MMO and it is my go to comfort cozy game to just play when I just want to hang out and just relax and chill playing a game. And I don't want to be hardcore. Not, I'm not going to I don't want to play a Souls game. I don't want to do any of that other stuff. I'll just go play Lord of the Rings online and I'm an elf and I have a whole autumn outfit set up. I'm actually going to I'm probably just going to you know what? There's going to be footage over here as I'm saying this about Lord of the Rings Online and about uh, I'm going to show you specifically Rivendell you're looking at it right now if if I have edited this in which I will uh, <clears throat> but you're looking at Rivendell I, I get such heavy vibes from this and I also have a little mount that I use which is a, a honey goat and I'm sure you're also seeing this and that's my character that's my dude that's my elf guy he's in a, per a perpetual autumn outfit and I just, I just love it. I love it more than anything else. That is my favorite aesthetic ever in the history of things. And having a whole album, which seems to be themed around this, looks incredible. The whole cover, like I'd said, the title, Autumn's Dawn, Winter's Darkness. It sounds a little menacing, but I'm 100% on board. And then we got some, some of the titles of this song, these songs, dude. We have a title track to start with. These songs are long. If there's eight tracks this this album for having eight tracks is an hour and 14 minutes long that's a lengthy album i really hope i'm gonna like this because i i love the aesthetic of it so far a dawn fire of old the majesty and beauty of a fallen world in the twilight of night veils of darkness light of the eternal dawn woodland songs of the aspen forest we wept under the moonlight shadow like this is just oozing with atmosphere and if nothing else even if i don't like the album this whole vibe of everything is already top tier with an album like this i want it to take its time i want it to just sit here in these little pockets of vibe and just go with something like this when you've got this kind of atmosphere you rely on that atmosphere so i'm really glad that it's taking its time with this i hope there's more of this throughout the album and it is black metal, so in true black metal fashion, the mix is a little weird. Black metal with a good mix is just deathcore. Black metal vocals anyway, for me, from what I've heard in the, the black metal I listen to, which isn't much, uh, but the vocals are more so just part of the atmosphere and not as much like a standout point as it is in other music. Are the vocals supposed to be that quiet in the mix? It's just weird. With something like this, I'm not really probably going to analyze it that much. So sorry if there's not much of me talking throughout this video. If the whole album's like this, I probably won't have much to say. I'm just going to gauge the vibes. Ooh. I like this section. I'm liking the last half of this song better than the the first. This is a classical guitar, right? That's what it sounds like to me, I think. That drone string in the background is really nice. Uh, one track in. I kind of like it. I'm not the biggest fan of black metal. Things tend to go on for a while and sort of repeat the same chords. 
and the vocals don't have much variety in them and i like more variety in songwriting and vocals and things like that so that's kind of why i don't like some black metal i like blackened elements in other parts of metal i think it works really well combined with other genres but on its own i just find it a little bit boring and that's my opinion this while not an album that I feel like I will go back to and listen to a lot. This has those vibes. This has the vibes that I was hoping from, hoping for from a black metal album with this sort of atmosphere. Maybe I'll throw this on while I'm playing Lord of the Rings Online sometimes just to add to the atmosphere. Although the music in that game is just too good. I can't not listen to it. It definitely has those woodsy medieval Lord of the Rings, Skyrim, like those kind of vibes. I like this. I feel like the thing that makes black metal black metal is uh, how much the treble overtakes most of the mix. Like there doesn't feel like much low end in this mix. But with something like this, it gives it that vibe, you know? It kind of works. Oh dude, this is great. The beautiful like, the little twinkliness of those high notes with the heavier stuff quieter in the background. This is good. But yeah, this is a vibe reaction. This isn't... This isn't that much of a musical analysis. I might play piano along with some stuff. Like I was here, like... C minor... A flat, B flat, G minor. Andrew, I'm glad you told me this is black metal before I listened to it, because I think if I hadn't known that, I might not have liked this. But because I knew what I was getting myself into... I can kind of prepare for what I'm going to hear and enjoy it more. I could fall asleep to this. This is very... It's very soothing. And something like this, like black metal like this, works really well as white noise. Oh. I honestly really love this. This is a far cry from the music that I usually listen to. But it's beautiful, and I'm surprised. But this has so much atmosphere to it. I'm really starting to warm up to the idea of the vocals being the quietest thing in the mix. I think for something like this, it works really, really well. Okay. The other ones felt like, not quite happy, but almost melancholic, and this feels a little bit darker. This trumpety section here is cool. Another one done. I think that one was probably my least favorite. I didn't like the vibe of that as much as the first two tracks, but it wasn't bad. It still had some really cool sections like the trumpets at the end. All right, I messed with my piano a little bit and I changed the color of the little thingy and I just made it look a little bit better because I just realized that I could do that. Is this going to be like an instrumental interlude track? Because it's kind of funny that an instrumental interlude track is four and a half minutes long. Ooh, that chord was nice. This is beautiful. Big fan of this. I love the crackling fire sounds. I feel like I'm being played to sleep by a minstrel. That was such a vibe. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna vibe. Big fan of this little harp section. Harp is... Probably the number one instrument that I want to learn. Maybe not the big one that's like seven feet tall, but like a little, you know, about this big, the little hand plucky one, like one of those. I want to get me one of those one day. Ooh. And this chanting part is vibey. Mm.
That's one of the most beautiful tracks so far. Three tracks left. And between those three tracks, almost 30 minutes of music. I'm just taking this in and just letting the vibes wash over me. I'm not thinking musically or nothing. Because if this... If I tried to actively listen to something like this, I think I would hate it. But if I just vibe, and I just let it take me wherever it goes, it's very good. I don't need glasses to vibe. The trumpets are back. Let's go. Oh, hit those notes, trumpets. Hit him. Woodland songs of the Aspen Forest. Ooh, good chord progression. This little tritone here. That sells it. These two interlude tracks might be my favorite off the album. The other interlude track with the nighttime campfire sounds, and this one with the daytime bird sounds. Perfect. That's beautiful. This choir is really cool. The, the vocal chanting thingies. Ooh, yes. And that's the end. I'm still in vibe mode right now. This had a lot of really good things that I, I really enjoyed. I loved the overall atmosphere of it, the vibe. It really does match the song titles and the cover. I loved all that. All the instrumental stuff was was really really well done all of the medieval instrumental feels those trumpets the classical guitar excuse me i'm hiccuping like a maniac right now the <clears throat> the the strings the violins that came in all that stuff was really good the harmonic progression of everything was really good there wasn't a single chord progression that i thought was bad the only problem for me and this is where some of the negatives get into it just inherently what this album is is just really not my thing it's something i can come back to if i'm looking for this specific kind of atmosphere but it's not something that i think i'll listen to a lot i got used to the mix it's not even the mix that bothered me it was just how long some sections were i think you could cut a good 15 20 minutes off of this album and not much would be missed it's not even the the vocals or the instrumentals or anything like that that i disliked it's just the length of it really it just feels like it drags a lot overall though i did like it and i am going to give this goes hard putting it in goes hard tier those are my thoughts let me know what you think down in the comments like the video subscribe all that other fun stuff thanks again to andrew slash cables for recommending this album and paying me his hard-earned money to listen to this. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the support, everybody. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.